Hello, this is Pete, or Kench1913, along with... Mom. And this is another Cooking with Kench1913. What are we going to be making today? Uh, we're making a lemon meringue pie. Oh. Kind of semi-homemade. Mm -hmm. Okay, first off, we're going to um, show you all of our ingredients. We're actually using a mighty fine pie filling. It's a lemon filling. Mm. Um, we're using... Um, pie dough store-bought pie crust store uh, bought you could yeah. even buy the ones that are frozen and the pie uh, is yeah. already made the pie the, the crust mm -hmm. um, two eggs mm -hmm. some water yeah a little bit of granulated sugar a little bit of cream of tartar you're going to want to have available mm -hmm. and a beater yeah so first we're going to do is to blind bake our pie crust and that just means that it's a pie crust without any filling in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lightly grease my um, pie plate. Yeah. Now you could use, uh, my mom, we were talking about this before, but my mom was saying that we, you could use, uh, you know, you can homemade, you can make a homemade pie crust if you want. You can also use like a graham cracker crust if you want. Yep. Or like even an Oreo one, that would be pretty tasty. Um, with the lemon, yeah, it might, because chocolate and, and lemon go actually pretty, pretty well. But this is one of the just store-made uh, store pie crust. Mm -hmm. um, you let it um, come to room, temp. room temperature so that you can work with it. And you're just going to kind of roll it out. You might need a little flour, right, maybe, to work with it? Yeah. Um, not so much flour. Sometimes just... Um, this may not have been out quite as long, and so it breaks. It's breaking up a little bit, but that that's not going to cause us any kind of problems. So we're going to get this into our pie plate, mm -hmm. and we're going to fit it into our pie. Okay. One thing you're going to want to do is set your oven at 350 degrees. Or whatever temperature um, will be on the... Yeah, whatever temperature the pie the, would be at. Yeah. And so we're just crimping around the edges. Yeah. This, I have to tell you, this here, we should, probably should have left it out a little bit longer because it's a little stiff working with it. Mm -hmm. But it, it will be fine. Yeah. So just follow your directions. And there's all different kind of things that you can actually use when you're baking a, a blind pie. Mm -hmm. They sell these um, like marbles that you can put in the bottom so that the pie crust doesn't oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. bubble up on you. Well, what we're gonna do to uh, right, uh, do that is uh, poke holes in it. Right? We're gonna poke holes in it. We're using the old-fashioned method. Yeah. Um, they even have um, like a second layer of a, of a pan that you can put in, yeah, like yeah, in the yeah, middle. Yeah. I've seen um, that. And so that it put, and then you put like beans on it. And yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. So we're just it's nothing this is nothing fancy. Yeah. And we're just going to poke some holes in it. So that when it's cooking it won't blow up. Mhm. Mm yeah, cuz we don't want it pu pu puffing. Yeah, up. we don't want it as a puff pastry. Yeah, we want it, yeah, we want it basically so that we fly. can add our um, our pudding to it. Mm -hmm. This would be the same thing if you wanted to make a regular pie crust and you were doing a cream pie, like uh, chocolate cream, banana cream, yeah. well, uh, vanilla cream. We'll eventually show how to do that. So okay, we're gonna this throw is going to in go the into the oven and bake until it's golden brown. Probably mm -hmm. about um, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. You just got to check um, everybody's oven cooks a little differently. Okay, what we're going to do is to take our pie, pie filling. Now, we might have said lemon meringue. It's a lemon filling. Yeah. The white part of it is the meringue, which we're going to make to put on top mm -hmm. of it. And this is not an instant pudding. This is an actual cooked pudding that you're going to use. Mm. Um, I'm not even sure if lemon comes in an instant pudding, but I do know that you can buy like vanilla pudding or chocolate pudding that's an instant. Yeah. Well, with vanilla pudding, 
No, I was gonna say maybe you could add like lemon extract or something, but. No, no. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, for the filling, we actually want the yolk of yeah, two the eggs. The yellow stuff. So, and we want the white for the meringue. Yeah, so my mom's gonna separate the eggs. So we're and separating it out. And you're gonna need two of them. So we're putting our whites in, in this bowl. Now my mom is using brown eggs right now. Yeah, it doesn't make it doesn't any matter. Egg. It's just where they come from, the chicken. Yeah, and then uh, she's just putting one in one pan and one in the other because the uh, whites we're going to use to make the meringue like she was saying. And the other one we're going to use to make uh, <clears throat> the pudding. Now which one's easier to do, the pudding first? Yes, we're going to do the pudding first. And usually what you would like to do is to keep your meringues on the cold side. Also, you want to make sure that you have a very clean bowl, mm -hmm. um, one that doesn't have any uh, residue of oil in it. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to stick this meringue into the refrigerator until we're ready to use it. So we have our two eggs in the pan, and I'm just kind of mixing them around. You're using a quarter of a cup of water, quarter of a cup. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, the ingredients in the video description, in case you're wondering. And again, see, we're just mixing this around. All right, we're using a half a cup of sugar. And then we're going to actually take our pudding mix and we're gonna use another two cups of water. Mm -hmm. So this is just to get all of the ingredients mixed. So see that nice lemon yellow mm -hmm. color. We're putting our pie crust mixture, yeah, a pie, pie, pie filling mixture in to the pan. So now you need two cups of water, right? And now we're going to get two cups of water. you mix everything of in? Water. Uh -oh. So this is not, like you were saying, instant pudding. Instant pudding is so easy. All you have to do really is get water. Add the water. Cold, cold milk. <laughs> yeah. So all you have to do is add water. So this is going to take some stirring yeah. power. Um, and you do have to sh keep stirring it until it becomes thick. Um, you don't want to leave it alone because you don't want it to burn. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just incorporating all of that, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you want to get all the lumps out or while it, you're that, stirring that, that will come yeah. even when you're, um, when you're boiling it. Okay. Okay, because it comes to a nice rolling boil. So let now, me get our two cups of water. Now, uh, I got one question for you. Would you have to use a whisk for this part? Like you're gonna, or are you using the beaters? No, I use a spoon. Oh, okay. Just a regular spoon. All right, so you could you spoon. could use a, um, a, a whisk if you wanted to. Yeah. Well, I was just wondering because I'm, I've never actually, I have to admit, I haven't made like regular, regular pudding before. So it's kind of new. So now what kind of heat are you going to turn this on? Medium? We are going to turn it on to like a medium high mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to just keep mixing. Yeah, so we'll, we'll keep mixing it until we get to the consistency and the, and the texture that we want to get to. Well, actually we'll start it off. Let, let's let's uh, at least show it off a little bit. Basically you're just going to want to mix it until until we get to the consistency that we want, which is a bit, which is kind of thick, like pudding-like, obviously, right? Yes. All right, so we're just going to keep mixing. So now you can see it's it's very liquidy. Yeah. Okay. And, and we'll then move. as this keeps getting warmer and warmer and warmer and heats up, it's mm -hmm. going to become thicker and thicker and thicker. Mm. So and, we'll, it, and this almost comes to a full rolling boil. Yeah. And then it'll be done. All right, and at this point, you your uh, your and pie you keep, crust might might be done so just keep an eye out for that too sometimes making this kind of stuff is a two-person job all right we've taken our pie crust out as you can see it's pretty much golden brown and uh 
mom, right? Weren't you going to say something about pie crust? Yeah, the pie crust, we were talking about um, doing, you know, multitasking, but you can make your pie crust well in advance and, yeah. just, and just leave it cooling on your counter and then have your uh, uh, cream yeah. ready to go in. Yeah, so we're just about ready for the, uh, for the uh, mixture here. Okay, here we are. Here's our pie crust yeah. that we took out. Here's this is our pudding. cooling uh, pudding that is cooling. We put yeah. it on some ice um, so that it would cool down. And this is the consistency of the pudding. Yeah, it's got to be pretty thick. So yeah. what we're going to do is con let this continue. continue to cool down and we're going to make our meringue. Yeah. Okay, this is our um, two egg whites. Yeah, we put them in the fridge so they're getting cool as we were doing that whole process of the pudding and the and the pie crust. Now, this, this is cream of tartar. Um, it helps bind, um, and you'll see a lot of people use it in, in um, stuff that has meringue in it, or stuff that needs to um, mm -hmm. like double in size. Mm -hmm. And a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. Mm -hmm. And if anyone's made meringue, the trick to meringue is the beating, beating, beating. Yeah. So as you can see, it's nice and frothy. So you just gotta beat it until it's really thick, right? Yeah, and it forms peaks. Yeah, so we'll be uh, right back when we do that. Okay, this is this looks creamy, but this is a stiff peak. You see when it does that? That's a stiff peak. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much all set. It's set, yep. So what we're gonna do now is assemble. We got our uh, lemon pudding. We're gonna throw it in our pie crust. So this is going to go back in the oven. Just for a little bit, because we're going to um, toast the meringue. Yeah. Now, if you really wanted to, I guess you could blowtorch it. Yeah, you could. So we're just going to... We let the pudding cool down pretty good, so... You could... You don't have to do like we did with the ice. You can just leave it in the pan and uh, stir it yeah, and every let, once in a while yeah. and just let it cool down. We're just trying to get it going so we can show you. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if anyone has had meringue from the store, store or even a bakery it, or whatever. Oh, it, it's it's not real meringue. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know what it is, but it tastes like soap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so when you're making it yourself, you get, you feel like you're getting, you know what's in it. I mean, with our meringue, it's just egg, sugar, and, uh, a bit cream of tartar. And so yeah, you're gonna get this nice toasty brown on the top, and it's gonna be really, really good. And I think we're going to leave it in there until it gets a little yeah, toasty brown. Yeah, just a little toasty. So brown. if you, whatever you had it on uh, for your pie crust, and it, uh, don't turn it off. But if, if you've done it before, preheat your oven to like what 350 or something. Okay, here we are with our final project. As yeah. you can see, it brown. If you like it, you can leave it in a little longer. Mm -hmm. You can also go with a, a bakery torch um, and go on it like you do any other meringue mm -hmm. or when you want to brown a topping a like cool, creme brulee. Culinary torch, yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is cut it and have a piece. Well, it's going to cool for a few minutes oh. and then we'll cut it. <laughs> and then we'll have a piece. All right, so here's our lemon meringue pie. You got your meringue and your lemon pudding. Yeah, here it is. So let's have a taste. Mm -hmm. That's good. You got your lemon. You got your meringue, your nice, light, fluffy meringue. It's very good, and the pie crust is very good, too. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's very refreshing. So this has been another cooking with Kenshin 1913. This oh. is 
along with mom. Yes, and uh, we'll see you in the next Cooking with Kitchen 1913. Enjoy and happy eating.